each hybrid technology classroom has also been upgraded to include an HDMI video input capture card. What this card allows you to do is to connect HDMI video sources or devices to the computer system and thereby use it with a live or recorded Zoom session. The video capture card is mounted in the lectern cabinet in the classroom. All you'll see on top of the lectern is an HDMI fly lead. Let's take a look at that next. The HDMI video input cord or fly lead sits on top of the lectern. It's all that you would see from the Elgato capture card because that's permanently mounted within the cabinet. So the fly lead sits on top of the lectern and it looks like the port on the back of your TV. So just like you would plug a device into your TV to see it on the TV, you can plug a device into this fly lead and then bring in that video content directly into your Zoom session. Let's talk about some devices that you can use this with. If you had a microscope and the microscope had an HDMI output, you could connect it to this Elgato video card input, the HDMI input, and then you can display content from your microscope in your live Zoom session and project it on the screen in your classroom. So you can serve both audiences and they can all see what's visible on your microscope. Again, your microscope would need to have an HDMI output. You could also bring in other cameras and connect them to your Zoom session. An example of that might be a DSLR for a down camera to photograph plants to share in a botany class. You could also bring in a document camera, perhaps one that's bigger than the one that's already in the hybrid classroom. So you can bring in even bigger experiments or demonstrations. You can also bring in an additional web camera as a source. So you could flip and toggle or switch between video input sources. A laptop or Chromebook is another device that you might consider connecting through HDMI to your Zoom session. Examples of why you might do that, if you had a licensed software that was only on your laptop and not installed on the hybrid technology classroom computer, you can connect your laptop to your Zoom session and you can instruct your students on that specific software, both students in class by looking at the projected screen or remote students by looking through Zoom. You can also show large files. Perhaps you have hundreds of photos on your laptop and not on the classroom computer. You can easily show them on your laptop that if it's connected through HDMI would therefore then be shared with your students remotely and in the classroom on the projected screen. So there are many ways and reasons that you might consider connecting an additional laptop to the classroom computer for Zoom. Uh, lastly, a tablet or an iPad or even a phone could be connected through HDMI and then you could model or walk through students through an orientation of a mobile app. As we mentioned, there's a fly lead from the Elgato video capture card that sits on top of the lectern. In this picture here, it's labeled as fly lead HDMI input. And notice that it looks like a common plug that you would find on the back of a TV or a monitor. To the left of that is an HDMI cable. You are responsible for bringing your own HDMI cable for your device. So don't forget to bring an HDMI cable. And again, that's what that looks like, the one on the left. That plugs in to the fly lead there with the white label. Then to the far right, don't forget if you have a special device, in this case it's an iPad, to bring the adapter for that device to match it up with the HDMI cable. So in this example here on the right, you need to remember to bring both the HDMI adapter and the HDMI cable with you for your session. Once you have your device connected to the HDMI fly lead and turned on, you're now ready to go into Zoom. Within Zoom, you should go to Share Screen, 
then go to the advanced tab and then select content from a second camera then your content from your camera devices will show up on your main frame in zoom lastly though note in the upper left corner of your frame there is a button that says switch camera it's usually in the upper left that will toggle through all the available connected cameras uh, currently connected to your computer you should click on the switch camera and that will toggle through the default web camera it will filter next to the document camera and it will filter to the camera on the tripod and then it will uh, cycle or toggle to the HDMI input whatever you have connected to it so that switch camera button in the upper left corner of that frame when you're sharing a second camera is very important to know about.